All right, new at five, Arizona's 2024 presidential election results. They are now official with none of the issues we saw back in 2020. 12 News journalist Bram Resnick was at today's formal signing of the results where top state officials were just thankful that it was a boring election. Hi, Bram. Hi, Karibe. Very thankful. State officials and law enforcement were gearing up for a potentially volatile end to the election. That never happened, but there's still some unfinished business for two popular ballot measures. The 10-minute signing ceremony this morning was uneventful. That in itself was news after President-elect Donald Trump's false claims during the campaign that the election would be rigged. The state's top executive officers and chief justice calmly fulfilled their duty to certify the presidential and Senate election results. You'll recall the certification four years ago when Trump tried to call then-Governor Doug Ducey as Drew Ducey was certifying Joe Biden's victory in Arizona. The call was part of Trump's larger effort to overturn his defeat, culminating in an attempted insurrection. Governor Katie Hobbs said today the calm surrounding this year's vote gave her hope. I am incredibly hopeful that this ministerial but important function can return just to that boring or signing the papers, uh, certifying the election, regardless of who won, regardless of whether we agree with the outcome or not. Uh, I'm hopeful that we can return to that sense of normalcy. And today's certification included two new voter approved laws. Proposition 139, the Arizona Abortion Act. That's the law that protects the right to abortion in the state constitution. And Prop 314, the Secure the Border Act. That would allow local law enforcement officers to arrest border crossers. That new law will require court action before it can take effect. Both laws still face hurdles. I'll tell you what comes next on 12 News at 6. Bram Resnick, 12 News.